And here we go. This is a rematch and a return all in one. And he can stay over there as far as I'm concerned. Well, I thought I heard I thought he heard you say that for a second. Like, you say, don't drag me down with you there, Tony. Yeah, this is a uh, revolution and they're back. Last month at Texoma Pro, the unit, Dane Griffin, Charlie Haas, they lost those Texoma Tag Team Championships to the Camachos. Well, Charlie Haas couldn't make it here tonight, so in his place, Dane Griffin, he called in a heck of a heater. His original tag team partner from Revolution, Seth Allen, flew him in from Ohio, said he needed a favor from an old friend, wanted one more title run, so we'll see what happens here as the unit gets their shot back against the Camachos. making their first title defense here. Your new reigning defending Texoma Tag Champions. Ladies and gentlemen, the Camachos are here. They are your Texoma Pro Tag Team Champions. Zarek and Onyx, crowd giving them a welcome here. Look at that, they got those Texoma Tag titles shined up beautifully. These guys look like a million bucks. Got the legendary James Beard in the building tonight. If there's a Hall of Fame for pro wrestling, he's in each and every one of them. Legendary referee, good friend of mine, James Beard, ladies and gentlemen. Out here to watch this tag team championship match. Let's go down to EC for our championship introductions. All right, and here we go with our Texoma Pro World Tag Team Championship match. The Camachos against Revolution. The Camachos making their first title defense. The unit trying to ensure that it is their last title defense. Wanting to recapture that gold as Revolution. You heard in the opening remarks during the 10 bell this, uh, tonight when Seth was talking about Dane, this, guy, this is his best friend. These guys have known each other for years. They trained together, they came up together. They've held gold together. But they're going against brothers. That's true. So who has the advantage here? No one has a bond quite like brothers, quite like family. Your cousin, your aunt, your uncle, there, there's a bond you have there that you don't have with anyone else. Of course, we can talk about how Charlie Haas and Dane Griffin are former Tech Summer Pro Tag Team champions holding the belts for a combined 91 days. But let's not overlook the relationship between Dane Griffin and Seth Allen as Revolution. They are also Tech Summer Pro Tag Team champions in their own rights. Former. D Dane is quite a tag team specialist. He's held the gold over the years with many different partners. Oh, beautiful arm drag by Onyx Camacho. Oh, and another beautiful arm drag, and Dango's flying. Onyx and Zarek Camacho have held the titles for a combined 29 days within this current reign. They are trying to elevate that past the month, of course. Trying to hold on to those titles as long as they possibly can. Stay at the top of the mountain in the tag team division. Look at that tag. Oh, but missing the kick takes it around into a... Oh, I was going to say almost a... Scoop up slam, but then the drop kick and the cover. One, two, tag team wrestling here. Zarek Camacho with the two count. Dane back up, any tags, and in, in comes Seth for the return of Seth Allen. Oh 
Duck it under the clothesline. He was trying to take his head off there. Double leg from Zarek, up and over. Leapfrog down under. Oh, beautiful reversal into an arm drag. Scoop slam. Beautiful body slam from Zarek Camacho. Makes the tag to Onyx, helping him in from the outside. Beautiful tag team work from the Camachos. But don't turn your back on Dane Griffin. Oh, beautiful flapjack. Griffin rolls out. The Camachos are cooking with fish grease, man, I'll tell you. Wrist lock getting control over the stronger and taller Seth Allen. Fish grease. Don't tell the underwater wet bodies. <laughs> Middle rope here. Oh, beautiful double axe handle. Incredible. Shout out to, uh, to Dolphin and Shark. See them next month, I'm hoping. Slingshot into the turnbuckle, reversal. Beautiful back elbow. I'll tell you, the tag team divisions, both here and Red River, are stacked. Oh, man, oh, man. Legs taken out from underneath them. And just like that, Seth is in control. Zarek Camacho is on the ground. This, this. Uh, contrast of styles here, man. You got Revolution, who they're just all about just beating you down, man. Forearms, just punches to the mouth, kicks to the stomach. Is Eric trying to fight his way out, though? Ducks under that clothesline and a beautiful forearm of his own. Oh, but look at Seth with the, the leg trapped. With, oh, beautiful, beautiful strategy from Seth Allen. Isn't it crazy how Revolution hasn't tagged together in years at this point, and they're still working like this? When you establish chemistry with a partner in tag team competition the way that the Revolution have, I mean, there is nothing that can break that apart. No amount of time, no amount of ring rust. One, two, three, and, of course, Dane bending the rules. I wouldn't expect anything less from this guy. And here's the thing, we're not just talking about two tag team partners, we are talking about two men, two in-ring generals that have come together to form this tag team in the revolution. That snapmare. Oh, a beautiful diving elbow, almost diving clothesline. Cover one, two, just a two count. Is there getting back up? Onyx on the apron. Yelling for his brother, you got this, bro, come on. Seth's trying to cut this ring off, though. Zarek's in there just a little over halfway between his corner and the opponent's. Onyx is trying to will this crowd and will his brother back to a vertical base. And just like that, back into that corner and another tag. Look at these frequent tags from Revolution. Love it or hate it, that is competent tag team wrestling. That is tag team wrestling at its finest. And here we go, another quick, fresh tag. Double teamwork. They're just stomping on the legs. Oh, man, beautiful. It's almost like poetry in motion, man. One, two, just a two count. I got to give credit where credit's due, man. These two have not lost a step when it comes to their tag team continuity. <coughs> just a stomp right to the side of the head. I think almost kicked him in the ear. Just so nasty, man. Dane wrenching away on that neck. Ooh, elbow shot to the trap. Oh, big shot to the gut. Zarek is trying to do everything that he can to fight back tonight, but... And as soon as he gets momentum, Dane just knocks him right back down. Another shot to the jaw. Zarek trying to fight his way out. But again, oh, what look at Seth, this. What is Seth Allen doing? Oh, freaking hanging stomp. Takes out Onyx, and cover that, him, that one, cheap two. Shot. Just a two count. Onyx didn't get there in time. Good, good thing Zarek kicked out. Oh, and look at this. Revolution taking control here, taking advantage of the ref's back being turned. They're just laying the boots to Zarek Camacho. And Dane into a crossface. Look at this. And look how he's got Zarek positioned. 
to where he can see the rope, but he's just far enough away from it. That is a very torturous position for Zarek Camacho to be in here tonight. Onyx trying to get some momentum going here, trying to get the crowd behind the United Familia Camacho. You always got to wonder, though, whenever you see these two Camachos and you know Angel's in the building, you got to keep your head on a swivel. I think I saw Onyx backstage, too. You know, whenever you see a couple of the Camachos, there's usually some of the others around. Oh, jawbreaker. And a fingernail rake. Just a simple, effective offense there. Tagging Seth in, and here we go. The onslaught continues, man. Shot to the ribs. Head first into the turnbuckle. Seth's taking him on the tour. Ooh, big right hand. And a left. Measuring Camacho. There's still some life left in Zarek, though. Answering back with some right hands of his own. Firing off. Oh, Seth working his way out of the corner though. And back to another tag, man. There goes the turnbuckle pad. I hope we don't see anything happen from that. That exposed metal. Now, Dane working on that left arm. Here's the thing, Snow. I wouldn't put it past the revolution if they were to try and take advantage of that exposed turtle pa turnbuckle pad, especially uh, presiding in their corner. Man, these guys are literally holding until like four and nine tenths on these five counts, man. And this is the worst defense of them all. And another tag. He's free. This is a tag team clinic these guys are putting on, man. They haven't missed a step. I got to admit, I got to give the devil their due, man. Up to the top. We're on the second rope right now in the high rent district. Zarek trying to fight off, and he does just that. Seth goes falling back first to the mat. Zarek on the second rope. What's he going to do here? Beautiful cross body, does not go for the pin though. You notice Seth and Dane have been focusing on Zarek's midsection, on those ribs, on that wind, on that rib cage of his, on the lung area. And after that cross body, Zarek couldn't capitalize with the pin. Those ribs bothering him. You remember when RVD used to do the frog splash and he'd come up holding his ribs? Of course. People don't realize that these moves can take just as much out of the one delivering and it's taking it. Oh, here we go, hot tag, in comes Onyx. Onyx is firing up here tonight. Beautiful flying back elbow, ducking underneath Dane. Back elbow, Dane goes down. Reversal, up and over though. Bringing a little bit of that Puerto Rican style here to Sherman, Texas. Look at that. Roll through, beautiful flatliner. Dane down on his face, cover him, Onyx, one. Just a one count, actually. Oh, man. And, and a seated flatliner, almost. Oh, a beautiful Uranagi from Zero Camacho. Dane with the spine buster, though. Power for power. These four men are able to match each other. At the moment, Dane Griffin looks like he's in the best shape of everybody. Yeah, but even then, how good is that shape? I mean, these men have been through a war here tonight. Oh, and, big right hand. And for good reason that that war ensues, a matchup for the Texoma Pro Tag Team Championships. Oh, reversal jawbreaker, right hand. Onyx laying those right hands in. Oh, but Dane with the gouge to the eye and duck underneath. Got to take shortcuts, man. This it's so hard to have any shred of respect for this guy when this is all he does. Oh, there we go, double team maneuver, cover him. That could be it. To retain the titles, one, two, 
Oh my gosh, sending his own partner Kareeming directly into the pinning attempt. Seth used Zarek Kamaja to break up the pin attempt. What a savvy maneuver, man. Oh my gosh. The referee delivering the 10 count. Seth up to his feet though. Ducking down and Zarek goes off the top rope. Landing directly on that map, that eighth inch pad. Onyx, no! And that's it. One, two, three. New champs. New champs. New champs. That cannot feel good for the Camachos here tonight. They have been added to a very short list, no pun intended, for the shortest reigns in Texoma Pro Tag Team Championship history. The second shortest reign ending tonight at 29 days. And this has to feel incredible for the revolution here tonight to pick up this victory, to become multiple time tag team champions at Texoma Pro. And how poetic that they do it together. Dane Griffith, Seth Allen. They have brought a revolution here to Texoma Pro like none other and that gold that valuable, valuable gold. The gold that tag teams all across the country would wish to be vying for. They wish they were here right now. That proves everything that they have been saying.